Well, hello there. How are you? Good. You look fit and trim. Well, thank you very much. Woo! They're doing the old woo! Yeah, it sounds yeah. good when you say it. It sounds good when they do it. When I do it, I just look like a total loser. Let's say, do it again. Woo! Well, you got other fine qualities, Matthew. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. You are the fifth friend here. Yes. Yeah, I have a kind of a personal rule that I don't show up to a talk show unless Wink Martindale's been there. Oh, you see, that would explain it then. No, I, you know, I, I've been meaning to uh, come, and I've just been kind of a uh, working guy for, yeah. uh, for a while, so. But uh, I'm glad to be here now. Are you having fun over there in Friends? Having a lot of fun. Yeah. Are you friends with the Friends? Yes, we are. Your buddies, right? We really are. We have, uh, it's got really lucky because if there's one jerk in that group, yeah. it could be just hellish all the time. But I'm sure. everybody's so nice and so great. And the women are hot. Yeah, exactly. Always good for the workplace. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, Matthew, um, you had any time off lately? Or not really, because you're doing a movie? You're doing. Yeah, I had two days off yeah. in the last, uh, you know, in, about in the last year, I had two days off. So I decided to. Um, go up to uh, this place on the beach, in Laguna Beach, yeah. and uh, just get myself a hotel. Oh yeah, Laguna Beach. Laguna fan. Beach. You got a hotel alone? That's the ticket on these shows. You just say the name of a city. Exactly. And, and just, you get the feeling that people love it. Yep, yeah. try it again, watch. Manhattan Beach. Her, Hermosa Beach. We could just do that That's for 10 minutes. That's all we could do minutes. for 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and I decided to take a walk on the beach. <laughs> and, uh, cause I had heard, you know, I've seen in movies that that's kind of a therapeutic thing to do. You know, yeah. you just go and you look out and you walk on the beach. And I was wearing these big shorts and, you know, this shirt and like a kind of a dress shirt kind of thing. I didn't look really good, no. but uh, you know. And I'm walking along the beach and I look down and about, uh, I don't know, about a hundred yards down the beach, there was uh, people playing volleyball. So I thought, you know, I'll go and maybe they'll ask me to play. But uh, right before, about halfway there, there was this big rock face, this huge rock face, and the waves were kind of splashing up against the rock face. And over, the, over that, there were a bunch of people having a party on a patio, you know? But, so I figured I'm gonna have to be really careful when I walk through, because if the waves are coming in, I'm gonna be, you know, thrown up against the rock face in front of the party, and that would be, you know. Not good. Not a good thing, no. you know? So I watch and I found my window and I realized when the water's coming in and hitting the rock face is when I go, because then it's gonna come back out, you sure, know? Sure, yeah. So I start on my way and I realize that I've misgaged it. The, <laughs> the rock face is much longer than I thought and it goes around. So I'm halfway through and I realize it's gonna hit me and I'm gonna be in big trouble and there's a whole party that's gonna watch me. So the wave comes in and picks me up kind of, kind of like that, I'm like. <laughs> Kind of like going like that, sure. you know? Yeah. And I kind of spin to my side, and I get a cut on my like, on, on my like. On your like. And at that point, I became a valley girl. <laughs> leg, leg, leg. There you go. Yeah. And so I got a couple of cuts, but the the biggest feeling was embarrassment. So I kind of stood up. The whole party was watching me just flail around and hit rocks. So I kind of stood up and took a bow and said, you know. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. But what I didn't do was get out. <laughs> so wave number two comes in, picks me up, I'm doing this again, <laughs> flying around. I decide to go to my left side because my right side is, you know, injured. Injured, sure. So I get another cut on, uh, on my like. You like, yeah. I get another cut on my leg, you know, and now a serious cut on my foot. So now I, the wave goes back out. I address the wound. Entire party now, people are leaning over and looking and watching me. Wave number three. Oh. Wave number three comes in, but now I have a little bit of time, not enough time to get out, but I have enough time to figure out some kind of plan. Yeah. So I decide, I've seen people do this, you know, on, on a Baywatch or something. I've seen, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over the force of the wave, right? <laughs> Okay. People leaning over, watching, the wave comes in. I'll look pretty cool, I'll jump over the thing. Sure. I misgage it. <laughs> and I jump, and the force of the wave hits me while I'm in midair, <laughs> and my shorts come off. <laughs> so I'm, I'm naked. 
and a like a voluptuous woman, you know, says, "Are are you all right?" And I and I said, uh, I'm, "I'm pretty proud of myself that I had the presence of mind to do this." I said, "Yes, I think everything's going very well." <laughs> and then I, you know, couldn't walk back no, in front of the people, of so I not. walked on PCH, which is in uh, which is in California. Did you ever find them swimming? Oh no no, I didn't lose the shorts. They were wrapped around my ankle. Oh, because they're imagining you naked walking down PCH. No no no. Good to know. I'm yeah. glad I cleared it up for America. I threw something on there. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I mistimed this cue. No, I didn't. I'm all, <laughs> all right. right. Uh, we'll be right back with Matthew Perry. Yeah. It's full of rush in. New Matthew Perry film. You work at, you shot the thing in Vegas? Shot the thing in Vegas. Vegas is not a town you want to spend, you know, Vegas was kind of built to be, you know, visited for about two days. Yeah. And I was there for three months. Oh. But That's every tough. day kept my clothes on. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, no, yeah. But I rented this house. It was ridiculous. I rented this house from this guy. I probably shouldn't say his name, but, well, Vladimir is his name. And he's a Russian acrobat guy. He's like uh, one of the uh, Cirque du Soleil men. Oh, really? So he had all over the house. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he, had, uh, he had all over the house naked pictures of him. All over the house, you know, just because he's he's the man he's the man who hangs from the rope. Yeah. You know, have you seen the show? Yeah, I have. In Nevada, <laughs> and uh, so he just had naked pictures of himself all over the place, which I couldn't take down because he would come by to check his mail, so I'd feel bad, you know. Yeah. But it's kind of tough to explain to people when they come to your house why you have naked pictures of a Russian <laughs> muscular man. Did you ever time. ask him why he has naked pictures of himself? You could kind of tell. He's the man, his ego was the size of, you know, this studio. Really? Yeah. But, I mean, in a nice way, he's a good guy. But, you know, don't hang naked pictures of yourself all over the place. No, or at least do it in a room that locks. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. I'm kidding, Matthew. I'm kidding. Um, now, did you enjoy making the film? I did. Yeah. I had a lot you of like fun. You like it? You can do a couple more, I hope. I hope so. It's getting great yeah. reviews. It opened Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you go? Have you been to the theater and sat down, and watched it with the crowd? I did actually, because I was taping. I was taping Friends the night that the movie came out, and all my buddies went out to see the movie, and I felt like I'd missed, you know, something. So I, uh, uh, I went to a midnight show right here, actually, at Universal. I went to a midnight show, and I kind of sat on the floor. And I didn't realize how pathetic it was that I was going to my own movie on Valentine's Day all by myself. Oh, yeah, that's sad. Very, very sad. But I just, uh, I couldn't resist, and I just, I just tapped somebody on the shoulder, and I said, so, are you, are you liking the movie? And she went, yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> and then she went, you're pathetic for going to your movie all by yourself. You yeah. But at least you had your shorts on. I had my, always had my shorts on. That's a good thing. Yeah. Fool's Rush In is the film. Matthew Perry, also on Friends, as you know. Go see it and go watch it. Thank you for being here, Matthew. Thank you. Tell Jennifer she's our last friend we need. Okay. We'll be right back after this break. Hey, you can catch our first guest every Thursday night on NBC as the always hilarious Chandler on Fringe, which incidentally airs in 19 countries around the globe, including Japan. Take a look at this. ロスってな随分頑張ったのね。どうしてこんな高いもん買ってたじゃないか。クリスタルダックとか。そうだったの。ああ、余計なこと言っちゃったよ、俺は。そうやって頭さすってれば大丈夫。時間も持って戻り。
funny lady. Now you speak Japanese, who knew? Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, you know, when we found out that the uh, show was gonna be on in, you know, 19 different countries, sure. we don't like to dub. No. You know, we want to we do it right. Uh -huh. And uh, so we, you know, got together and learned all the languages. All of them? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Italian? Well, that's, uh, that's pizza. Pizza, yeah. That's okay, I got it. Chinese? Some kind of rice. There you go. Russian? Any vodka, really. Any vodka. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much you know it all. Yeah, so we got it down. Yeah. Which is great. Well, good to see you. Looking good. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Last time you were here, I was ill. Do you remember? Oh, yes. It was quite frightening for me, actually. Yes. Yeah. I, I had was... a little food poisoning. Yeah, you had a little food poisoning. You had a bizarre look on your face. Uh-huh. I for did. For most of the program. And I wanted to check, because you had some kind of dish, some kind of elaborate bowl behind the desk in case you threw up. That's the truth. I yeah. did. Yeah. Because I was very, very sick. And we had you, and on the show following you that day, we did two shows. We had John F. Kennedy Jr. Oh. And they said, you cannot cancel Mr. Perry and Mr. Kennedy. I said, in that case, just give me something to vomit into. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, I didn't have to use it. I got more woos than uh, John F. Kennedy Jr. did. Did you notice that? I did notice that. Maybe being that he's no longer single, who's Maybe to that's say? the thing. I don't Maybe really know. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. All right, this is like kind of a dumb question that everyone asks on a talk show, but, you know, you get this gig, no idea it would be this successful, did you? Yeah, well, I had no idea that the show was going to be this successful, certainly, but when I, was, when I was younger, I kind of naively thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a big star. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I had done this movie uh, when I was 16 in Chicago, and there was this other actor there who was working on another movie, and we were walking around, and just total ego maniacs back then. Right. And uh, he said to me, so what do you think this movie's going to do for you? And I said, well, I think, you know, it's going to be a big hit. Movie made nothing. Right. What was but, it called? Uh, it was Night in Life of Jimmy Reardon. Don't it remember. Called. Okay. Okay, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Just let me feel you, make you feel a little better. That's okay. Hey. Exit to Eden. Feel a little better now? Yes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yes. All righty. I do. I understand. <laughs> I do. I watch that movie a lot, though, for different reasons. Really? <laughs> uh, I don't need to think about that. Yeah, I don't um, think... I don't think we need to go there. So you thought you'd be a big star after that? Well, yeah, so, yeah, he said to me, you know, what do you think it's going to do for you? And I said, I think I'm going to do a couple supporting roles, and then I'll get, like, my lead thing, and I'll be like John Cusack in, like, a year. And, uh, and I said, so what do you think your movie's going to do for him? And he very seriously said he thought his next movie, uh, his, his movie that uh, was coming out, was going to do for him what Risky Business had done for Tom Cruise. Huh. Totally true. St I, st I got more woos than Tom Cruise. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matthew. You know what? I'll give you the John F. Kennedy Jr. I will not give up Tommy Cruz. All right. Go I ahead. understand. Go ahead. I understand. So what did it so, do for him? Yeah, so, it... well, what happened was that we walked around the rest of our day with our egos and our thing, and um, I didn't see the guy for three years. Three years later, we both bumped into each other, auditioning for a recurring role in ALF. <laughs> so our plans didn't quite pan out. We were so embarrassed, too, because we didn't even look at each other. We were just like, hi. <laughs> How are you? Which, and neither of us got the part on Alf. No, I, that's even I, worse, yeah, which isn't I loved. it? Yeah. Where's he today, this guy? Is he a big star now? Or is uh, he still working a little bit? This, that man is Johnny Carson. <laughs> no, no. No, no. no he's, uh, he's doing something else. Though. Now, do people criticize or critique you, like family and friend? They call up and go, I didn't like this week. I like last week better. Or... Yeah, bru Does that happen with you? Brutally, yeah, they do that. Yeah, people say that to me. Like, so. but, you know, people will call me up, like good friends will call me up and just say, you know, I saw the show and you're not as funny as you, you were last year, or what, you know, what, was, what was with the wardrobe and just awful things? You want to just go, hey, yeah, I saw you too, and you're ugly. <laughs> I mean, it's the same kind of thing. It like, really drives me bananas. It is. It's a lot of pressure. Do people think you're like the character when you go out? Do you ever get Chandler? How you doing? Well, I walk to place and just go, hey, I play Chandler. <laughs> yeah. Well, that solves that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it? different for me because I really like it. Oh, so, okay, yeah. I understand. Could you stick around for another second? Sure. Chris, we got to go to a break right sure. here. We'll be right back with Matthew Perry after this. According to Chandler, what phenomenon scares the bejesus out of him? Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. That is correct. <laughs> the Irish jig guy? His legs flail about as if independent from his body. Lord of the Dance. That guy. Have you ever actually seen Lord of the Dance? I've studied the Lord of the Dance tapes, yeah. you know, because I had that line in the show. So, sure. I, you know, the research and of everything. Course. And I watched it, I guess, I guess I've probably watched it about a hundred times, yeah. that tape that he had out. Yeah. And I have still have yet to find one thing right about it. Yeah. 
You know? It's a little scary. It's very scary. He dances around, and, it, and it's, you know, what, what I said, he flails his legs about as if independent from the rest of his body. He wears a headband that Olivia Newton-John, I think, originally wore, but it's the same one. <laughs> you know? And it's all shredded up. I don't understand. I don't understand. And he's making it. a patrillion dollars. He's making so much money, and it's not right, frankly. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, if you're Irish, it's enjoyable. Really? I went as an Irish person, I was right, all right, for the homeland. I didn't understand what he was doing, but I found it entertaining. Really, you do? You just did, like all these yeah, things, and it that's was nice. entertaining. Good, great. You know, it was my people. Hey. There it is. There you go. So, time off you to go see a lot of movies? You do all those? Yeah, I go see a lot. I love going to the movies. It's kind of an embarrassing thing. I'm. I'm I can't believe I'm about to admit this on national television. What is it? But Share it, with me. All Hold right. my hand. Be brave. What is it, Maddie? Well, I cry at the movies. That's good. That's good. Women love that. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, real tear jerkers, like Goodwill Hunting. Did you cry? Goodwill Hunting. Cry? What a great movie that was. How and about I, that? Uh, I, yeah. That's a beautiful movie. Yeah. When he said, it's not your fault, it's not your fault, yeah. forget oh, yeah. it. Yeah. That's yeah. when you just, and if you're with a date, you're just. Yeah. Crying as hard as you can to, uh, you know, to not cry. You know, I cry at strange, you know, you know terms of dear and all those sure. things. I'm just a mess. But, uh, well, both Blue Lagoon films. Blue Lagoon? Yeah, both of those. The Chris Blue Atkins and Brooke Shields? Well, stay with me for a second. Okay. Because there's a scene where he's, you know, he's wearing that le leopard thing, whatever he's wearing. Uh -huh. And he's spearing, he's like in the water. Sure. You know, a lot of scenes in the water in those movies. It's a lagoon. It's a lagoon. Right. And it's blue. Right. Yeah. And he's spearing like this big fish. Sure. I lost him. Very spearing sad. Spearing the fish got yeah. you. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Oh, yeah. Very, very sad. Cried at the postman. The postman. Cried at the postman. The Kevin Costner. Yeah, because I had spent $8 to see it. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Sat there oh. <laughs> weeping. Yeah, okay, yeah. I understand. You'll cut that out, you right? Know, no, we'll leave that uh, in. You'll be in big trouble. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, because the fact is, I did not say it. I only giggled. <laughs> the thing, um, you know, I wanted to tell you that, not to make you feel weird or anything, but um, we had Matt LeBlanc here. Yeah. And he told me that he was in a play when he was a little kid. He was the Cowardly Lion. And he sang, and he had a beautiful, beautiful voice. And at the commercial, I said to him, I didn't know that you were so musical, and he told me that you were even more musically gifted than he. He told me that, and I didn't know if you wanted to yeah, do I, it. it. It's very nice of him to say. You know, I, not many people know, but I, you know, I played in a band. You did? Oh, sure. What, what kind of music? Well, it was, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of rock and roll. It was a bunch of different styles of music. It was yeah. kind of, I'd like to say, it was my own style. Good. You know, yeah. I, I kind of started a thing, and it was a tough about six years ago when I had to decide, you know, do I want to act or do I want to be in a band? Right. And I decided to uh, act, but I still kind of question that decision. Yeah. Because yeah. you still got the music in you, right? I've got the music in me. Yeah. Well, do you think that maybe you could sing a little something today? Because, I mean, you know, just a little. Something little. I don't know. I was well, wondering. see, here's the thing about that. I, I'm not, I, I'm a musician. Yeah, You know, sure. more than anything else. And uh, I, it's not singing, I just, you know, I play, I play an instrument, which I, you oh. know, it's tough because I, I, you know, kind of a perfectionist musically, and I take it very seriously, and I haven't played for a while, but if you guys want to hear a little bit of it. Well, we have a band, yeah. we have a yeah. band. You could sit in with the band, or? Yeah, so. What do you play? Because we have a guitar we there, play, we have well, a I'll bring out, I'll bring out what I, because maybe you could play with me a little bit. Oh, sh Does that sure, good? I only actually play the. Play the drums. All right. Oh, the cello. So we put I didn't this know here. the cello. We don't have a cello in our band. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> trying. And I got you a uh, kazoo. A kazoo? So you play that, yeah. So, uh, should we go should down we and go play the band? There? Yeah, let's go down and play the band. Okay, you take it now. Watch him on my...
must see TV, would you? Thank you, honey. Thank Give me you, a kiss. Fun. We'll be right back after this. From the very cute Matthew Perry. to see you. You're looking good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know, actually, I missed the top part of the show, so what did you think of Fight Club? Oh, I loved it. I was just wondering. No. Did you see it? I saw it. Did you understand it? Uh, I, I understood it, and it was, you know, a really intense thing, but for me, the weirdest part about Fight Club was, you know, remember Brad Pitt, you know, he shows his, you know, shows his chest and everything, and yeah, it was yeah. like looking into a mirror. Oh, really? I couldn't... Yeah. I sure. couldn't believe it. That was more intense to me than any other than part any of the Than any of the fighting moment. or the violence, yeah. 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 Well, you have been working out, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I've been playing a lot of tennis and stuff, and I can't... I don't really go to the gym, because my feeling about the gym are that it's... Weights are heavy. They are. You know? They are. I think they were made heavy. They were made to stay on the ground. And you do a life cycle. You're, you're on there for about 45 seconds. You get off, you're exactly where you started. Right. You're right. So, you know, what's, what's the point that? of that? I don't exactly. understand it. Do I don't you know. guys understand that? I don't... Do you have a, a gym membership here in New York and in L.A. so that you can, you know... Work? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. No, you know. Yeah, I have gym memberships in every city, just wherever <laughs> I go, just so I can pump up. You've been having fun while you're back here in New York? I've been having a great time in New York. I, I'm, Seeing I'm, shows I'm, or I'm doing what? I'm kind of New York stupid, though. Like, I never know where I, where I am. Real. And all the streets are numbered, so it doesn't make much sense, but... <laughs> You know, I, but the problem is I wish I was from New York because it just sounds like such a cool place to be, you know? Yeah. Like, if, if you asked me what I did last night, I could... Just the towns sound cool. It's like, yeah, I was on the Upper West Side, headed down to Soho, <laughs> hung out in Hell's Kitchen for a while, you know? Yeah. And where I live, it's like, well, I spent a couple of hours in Encino. It doesn't have the punch. No, went over to Tarzana. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's exactly. not as cool. Exactly. Not the same thing. Not as cool. You guys having fun on Friends this year? We're having a great time. Yeah. We're having a great time. It's, it's so much fun. I'm living with Monica. Which is very exciting yeah. to the viewer at Isn't all. that cool? Who would have thought that at the beginning of the season? Who would have thought? No. Who that. Thought? Do you guys have any say in the script? If you read that, you go, mm, this wouldn't be... There are no writers. We just do it whatever we want. Oh, really? You yeah. improvise? Oh, yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. No. Couple of, first couple of years, there were writers, and then we said, you know what, fellas? We got this down. Yeah. We're so good at it. Yeah. Go home. Yeah. Go home. Right. Don't worry about right. it. Three well, to Tango. We just wrote it. Yeah. This is your new movie that comes and I just wrote the whole thing. And, and Dylan McDermott. Yeah. It's like all my favorite, favorite TV people are in this movie. Yeah, I hear you're a big fan of Party of Five and The Practice. Yeah, you like those shows? I do. I, uh, well, no, I've never actually seen them. <laughs> You've never seen the, either of them? No, ever? that was funny, actually, because Nev and I uh, met, you know, doing this movie, and she had never seen Friends either. How is that possible? I, you know, I don't know. Does I, she live in India or something? I think maybe she summers in India. Really? I don't know. That you, do you watch The Practice, though? I watch The Practice now, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, That's good. It's really good. Did you see but it last Dylan night? McDermott bothers me because he's so good looking. He is. Very yeah. handsome. And he's got one of those, you know, annoying, those chins, like, he can, he's so chiseled he could, like, open an envelope with his chin. Yeah, he could. You know? He could. That bothers me. Yeah. It bothers me a lot. Really? A lot? Yeah. 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 He is very handsome yeah, and charming. Yeah, he is. And he can well up like that on the practice. Yeah. He can cry like in two seconds. Whoosh, his yeah. eyes get all misty. Nev can do that too. And that was the neat thing about the movie where, it, that, you know, this is the first time Nev's been in a comedy. So right. she was a little bit nervous about some of this stuff in the movie. And I, you know, have done some comedy, so I was able to help her out. And with stupid stuff like, you know, if you're going to fall, fall behind a couch. That's the funnier thing. You know, and then, you know, because if you fall in front, people won't like that. And then there was dramatic... <laughs> I, I didn't even know that rule. I'm a comedian. Yeah. I didn't know that rule. Yeah, well, I made that rule up. Oh, there you have it. There you have it. But if it I works for you, up. it's probably good. But then there was some dramatic stuff in the movie, too, and I was nervous about that, and they helped me out, too. And there's a little crush happening there. See that? See? Now, I didn't know that you come from a long line of actors. Uh, yes, my father's a great actor. Yeah. And, more importantly, the Old Spice Guy. My father's the Old Spice Guy. Take a yeah. look at this. You might recognize the photo. Look at little Matthew and look, the Old Spice Guy. Can you imagine? Oh, I used to love that Old Spice. Yeah, it was very tough to take girls home, you know, because they would just fall immediately in love with my father. Right, you know? right. And he always would dress up as a sailor. He would? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that helps. Always. Sure. Always. Did you ever wear Old Spice? Did you uh, yeah, I got him Old Spice on Father's Day. That's and stuff, what I used you know? to get my dad too. Yeah. Exactly. So you're a big uh, baseball fan, I hear. Yes, I'm a big baseball fan. My grandfather, Al Perry, is a huge baseball fan. He's he's been a Red Sox fan, forever. Yeah, some of them, you know, out there. But he's uh, he's 93, oh. you know. 
and you know, because we're busy sometimes, you know, when we're I'm busy with the show and all that stuff, and you kind of don't call the family enough. And because the Red Sox have been doing well, I decided to call him, and I, and I called him up during a game, and there was a commercial. I said, "Hey, this is great. They're winning. They're winning." And he was like, "Yeah, it's nice to hear from you." And then, oh, the game's back on. You just hung up. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's <laughs> like, "Okay, I guess you're uh, <laughs> busy." Yeah. A little busy. Yeah. And, yeah. Are you going to go to any of the games, you think? You're gonna have um, time? I'm going to, I have to go back to LA to start the friendship show. Right. Again. Right. So, uh, which is what I call it now. I don't know why. Well, that's all right. You can call whatever you like. Thanks. You're the star. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, three to Tango opens on Friday. It's delightful to see you. Good to see you. Take Good. care of yourself. Thanks. 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 We'll be right back with the very cute Mark Anthony after that. Please welcome back to the show, Matthew Perry. <laughs> You're welcome very much for your flower. How are you? I'm good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How clutch was she? It was, it was a big moment for me, man. Yeah, I moment. could tell you you were a little nervous. I was very yeah. nervous. Are you kidding me? What if you got the question wrong? Were you really going to pay the guy? Totally. Yeah. Do you know the guilt I would have about oh, that? Oh, I can understand. I can, where is he? Sitting right there behind the camera. Hi, Jer, hi Matt, very rich man. Matt, Jer. <laughs> Do you know that when I was a, a young comic, there was a show named called Crosswits? Do you remember this show? Yeah, I do actually remember I that show. I think it was show. like 86. Yeah. And I was the celebrity. That's how bad a show it was in 1986. <laughs> and I lost the money for this guy, and I have never gotten over it. Really? At the time, I didn't have the money to give to him. I see. But And now you do, because yeah. you got the big show. Exactly. Yeah. Got the big show, got the big cash. Yeah. You need got the big you need I did, Well, you sent him to London, and I think, where are you going to send me? Where'd you like to go? Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to London with him. Okay. All right, then we'll talk to Jer Bear. Yeah. After, the, after the show, and we'll work that do out. Do I have to call him Jer Bear? You do. Okay. That's his name. All right. Now, are you a millionaire fan? Uh, yeah, I do watch the show a lot. I do watch the show, and you will now be my phone friend if I ever get on. Really? They're yeah. doing a celebrity version. Are they really? Yeah. Yeah, see, I always, I always get nervous about doing those things, because what if there's an easy question, and then everybody just goes, oh, Matthew Perry's a moron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever done Celebrity Jeopardy? Uh, no, for that exact reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it once I won and once I lost. Really? Yeah. Well, that's not bad. 50-50. Yeah, I lost badly, though. Yeah. It was like 40,000 Carol Burnett points to minus 600. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, really? It was, yeah, it was embarrassing. Well, you needed your Jer Bear. I did. Yeah. I need to be the phone a friend. You yeah, know? you needed your Jer Bear. Are you a big game show fan in general? Uh, I'm, I'm really actually hooked, not as hooked as you are, because it's borderline obsession. You might have to see some doctors about this. But, you're not uh, kidding. But I do watch The Millionaire Show, and I've had people over and stuff. And you're right, the music is... I want that music just for everyday life, just like my alarm goes off. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and, think it would help. Yeah, and then you know you have to wake up. Right. You really have to wake up. Somebody horrible calls on the phone. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of caller ID, they have that. Oh, it, no! It's your agent. <laughs> yeah, boom, boom, boom. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I understand that you were a tennis champ when you were a kid. Uh, yes, thank you for mentioning that. Is that true? Because I've just started taking tennis. That's lessons. what I heard. That's what I heard, and I heard you wanted a couple of tips. Yeah, what do you about, got for About me? tennis. The only thing that I can tell you is you will get angry, and you'll get very angry, and you'll throw your racket. Really? And so the only big tennis tip I can give you is when throwing your racket, just make sure you don't throw it at the person that you're playing against. Okay. Throw it against the wall, throw it against the net, throw it because, you know, it's a very frustrating game. Did you do a lot of racket throwing? Oh, yeah. I was, uh, was kind of like a John McEnroe type tennis player, but the problem was I was playing when I was about eight, so it's kind of like, damn it, damn it! And then you throw <laughs> oh. it. Well, eight years old, yeah. you're supposed to throw the racket, you right? You really don't look good, though, when you're about three feet tall. Just, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But you know, actually were a champ in Canada, right? Yeah, I was a nationally ranked player in Canada. Thank yep. you for... <laughs> oh, Canada, right Canada. there. Canada, yeah, so you can get a that. ride home with her. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> now, congratulations on your People's Choice Award. Thank you very much. That's exciting, isn't it? Nice, yeah. <laughs> How did, were you expecting to win? Is that arrogant to ask? Um, well, you know... They, that's the, kind of the best award to win, you know, yeah. and people like to watch the show and, uh, you know, we, we, you know, we dress up for the Emmys, we dress up for the Golden Globes and uh, we lose every single year. Oh, so, you've won some, haven't you? Oh, no. no, the, no. Friends never won an Emmy? No. That's shocking. Yeah, thank you. Don't you think so, Jer Bear? <laughs> in fact, that'd be a great millionaire question. That would be a good question. Which show has question. not won an Emmy? And if you put friends in there, people would be... Can I get this eyelash off your eye because it's Absolutely. bothering me? All right, Absolutely. it's right, close your eye. Okay. All right, look. Now you can make a wish. See? Okay. There's your eyelash. I'll, I'll wish for the... Oh, I can't tell you. Don't tell me. <sighs> right here on my finger. Blow the finger. You blew the... You blew... No, come on! You blew my thumb! It's not on my thumb! Go, okay. See it? 
Thank you. Now I wish will come true. There we go. Okay. We had another guy on the, the other day, Bobby Cannavale, and he had a pimple in his ear, and I popped it during the live show. Good. <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm glad my problem was just an eyelash. Exactly. You're, otherwise, you're very well groomed. You yeah. look nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So you're still having fun on the show? We're having a great time on the show. We're just having a blast. Yeah. We're having a blast. There's a special episode um, coming up on Thursday that's actually a really cool thing. It's if one event changed in our lives, would we still be friends? And it's I saw the promo. Thing. It looks hysterical. It's really great. We got Courtney in the fat suit again. Right, and, right. And everybody has like this one different thing. And kissing her in the fat suit was difficult because you forget that there's like a hot married girl underneath all that. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Now, do we have a clip? Did you bring a clip of that? I don't think so. I think no. we have a clip of, uh, of, of your the movie. Bruce Willis movie. Yeah. yeah. And now, what's this about? Um, did you ever see a movie called The In-Laws? Yes, great I did. great movie in the 70s. It's kind of in the vein of, of that. It's, a, it's about, well, I play a kind of a dorky dentist. And the biggest mob guy in the world, played by Bruce Willis, big movie star guy, yeah, uh, comes in and moves in next door to me, and the zaniness ensues. All right, of. and uh, we have that's so yeah, that, yeah. Basically, it's the only comedy that I can remember in a long time where everybody's trying to kill everybody, and it's still funny. And I went to a sneak preview. I snuck into a sneak preview last night, like a dork. I do a, that too. Do though. you do that yes, too? Yes, I do. Well, I'll talk it out. Okay, come we'll on. There out. you go. Oh, all right, right. that's okay. Yeah. You're a good guy. Yeah. And did people like it at the sneak? Yeah, the people liked it. There was one embarrassing moment, though, where there was something happened, and I was the only one in the theater that laughed. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah. No, that's not good. So, and that, maybe my laugh is familiar. So yeah. people like were going, wow, Matthew Perry has nothing better to do on a Friday, A, <laughs> and B is the only one laughing at himself. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that wasn't that's good. That's not good. But the, but the movie's really funny. I'm really psyched about All it. All right, we have a clip. Take a look. The whole nine yards. Yeah. A lot of physical comedy in there. A lot of physical comedy. Yeah, I decided at a very early age that if you're just walking somewhere and you fall down, yeah. it's funny. That's true. Yeah, and now I'm 30, and I still haven't uh, not learned that. Uh, yeah. There are many pratfalls on this? Yeah, there's a, I, I figured out I spend about uh, probably about 90% of this movie on the ground. That's good. Did yeah. you get hurt? I did not get hurt. I did not get hurt. And I, I, I will do a pratfall for you now if you guys want. Oh, please. <laughs> Matthew, go right ahead. Oh, you even have a mat. We have a, we have a mat. We have a safety mat. Okay. Yeah, if you move it down a little bit that way. And then I, the funniest fall, I think, is the you're walking yeah. and you almost trip. Almost trip. And then you look back to see what's tripped you, and that's what makes you fall. Okay, let's see. So let's I'm going to teach that. you that. Oh, you're going to teach me? And then maybe you can try it. Oh, geez. Isn't that a deluxe advanced one okay. that you just said? Can, now, can I, I, I go this way? Whatever way you. You're the expert. Okay, so you got to be in the kind of a wide shot here. Okay, so. all right. So remember, you walk and you trip a little bit. Okay. And then you look back to see what tripped you, and then that's what makes you fall. Okay. It helps if you're whistling, but I won't do that. No, whistle. Go ahead, whistle. That's not. very good. I mean, you don't just fall a little bit. You really wait for yeah, it. Yeah, so you, because it's your first time, yeah. just, you know, take it easy. All right, do you recommend you. looking to the left like you did? You actually should look at the camera. Look at Jer Bear. Look at Jer Bear. Okay. All but right. Be careful. So I'm whist I can't really whistle, but you do the whistle for me. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That yeah, that was great. <laughs> In my next life, I'll be a star. That was great. Matt Perry, go see him.